Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Atitan Apro Cafe, Wash Process Guatemala from Huckleberry Coffee Roasters. And there's the cup right there. I believe once upon a time they used to have Huckleberry specific cups, but it looks like they might have transitioned into more generic coffee cups. But Huckleberry, based out of Denver, Colorado, and they're a coffee roaster that has appeared on this channel several times before, as they're a coffee roaster I usually stop by anytime I'm in Denver, given that I do consider them to be one of the better Denver-based coffee roasters. Now, this is the 43rd and Pecos location, which is the location I have the most familiarity with. I've been going here for about as long as I've been going to Sweet Bloom. And if memory serves me correct, they originally had a second location on Wazee, then I think it changed to a different coffee shop, and now it's a Huckleberry again, but given that this is the one I usually swing by, I figured it was worth swinging by and reviewing one of their coffees. And if memory serves me correct, I believe once upon a time they used to offer an AeroPress, a V60, and a drip option, but now all they have are two drip offerings. So this one right here is one of their drip options. The other was a natural processed Costa Rica, so it made for a very easy choice. And uh, I would describe Huckleberry's Rose Profile as a light medium American. With all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and start discussing this coffee. And I believe the flavor notes they had listed on here was dark chocolate, red plum, and nougat. And I think the initial impression I got of this was it was a little bit more sweet than I think I was expecting. Still a moderate sweetness, but you were definitely feeling the more robust characteristics of that dark chocolate, as well as a Central American cup. It was a nicer aspect of this coffee was that there was so much more fruit sweetness than I think I was expecting. Granted, it was a secondary contrasting component to the very sort of noticeable and distinct dark chocolate within the cup itself, but even then it gave it some nice balance as it wasn't too one-dimensional skewing in a specific direction. All right, let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can see what we're getting. Notes, of course, and we have three level fours. So the first thing, of course, is going to be that chocolate. And the dark chocolate in this cup, yeah, it's by far the most distinct and pronounced characteristic within it. Quite robust, and it definitely skewing on a little bit more of that bitter side of the chocolate, so definitely not quite that milk chocolate, but very much the described dark chocolate. Body, level four, yeah, it has a pretty heavy body, but again, that's not really surprising in any sense, as it is a Central American, and it was one of their drip offerings, just a much more robust cup. And the finish, yeah, so it has a little bit of this kind of savory finish to it. It also has a little bit of florality within the finish too, and I think that might be the listed nougat, which is often something I describe as a floral cookie. So I see that in this cup of coffee, but in addition to that, there is a slight bit of the fruit sweetness that's within it as well. So let's go through the rest of this tasting wheel. Sweetness level three. Yeah, it does have a nice bit of sweetness, but I'm not sure I could justify it at a higher mark than that. It is just about that level three mark and it contrasts nicely to the acidity, which came out in a little bit more abundance than I think I was expecting or something like this. Additional characteristics. You'll see that there are a lot of scores in this tasting wheel because the spice is at a level three and it has a little bit more of this kind of spice savoriness within the cup itself. Also a bit of saltiness, also a bit of berry, which uh, a little bit of a darker berry. Don't think that's a note they have listed on here, but definitely feeling a fair bit of that within this cup. Stone fruit, which is that plum, that's that fruit characteristic I'm getting. It is, again, a little bit more delicate and secondary to a more robust chocolate, but very much present within this cup, in addition to a slight bit of citrus. And let's see here, a little smoky, but that does taper off as the cup cools, that's for sure. And then the bitterness that is in comparison that is with that dark chocolate component. Slight bit of savoriness and the cleanliness at a level three. I think it doesn't quite reach that level four mark because it is a little murky with that slight savoriness that I don't think was expected. A little bit of that herbality within the cup itself which was a little unique, a little different from what my initial thoughts were and as it's cooled down I'm experiencing a little bit more of that especially within the finish. All right, so my overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee. It's never going to be my first choice, but I'm also not a big chocolate person, and I'm an even less dark chocolate of a person. So for that reason, given that it's the most defined characteristic to this cup, not necessarily my favorite. Would like a little bit more sweetness from it, and the acidity was a little bit more than I think I was anticipating. So all of those factors led it to being not necessarily my pick. However, there is some nice complexity to it because you are getting additional fruit characteristics to it. Uh, higher than expected berry too, which as mentioned, wasn't something that they had listed on there. But the complexity as well of the slight herbality within the cup was a nice little added bonus to this because I do like when cups have a little bit more than just one dimension to them. So just an overall kind of more unique 
experience for this Guatemalan and for something that I have had from Huckleberry. It just kind of reminded me of their coffees in general. Definitely tastes like a Huckleberry coffee. The type of person I would suggest this coffee to, if you like the bigger body cups of coffee, if you like the more chocolate cups of coffee with that slight bit of fruit, I know that that seems to be a nice selling point to people where it's not too fruit forward, but it also has a fair bit of the body and chocolate to it. I think this would be an excellent fit for you. I think Huckleberry does a really good job of these coffees, even if they aren't always my preference. I think I'll leave this review at that. If you've by chance had an opportunity to try this coffee, I would love to know your thoughts and impressions of it as well. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the Atitan Afro Cafe, Wash Process Guatemala from Huckleberry Coffee. Thank you for watching.